All right, ladies and gentlemen, I open up every year with the same line. New York Center, New York has the Rockefeller thing. Washington, D.C. has like the White House. In Rhode Island, we've got the Big Blue Bug. That's what we're lighting up tonight on Facebook Live. Folks, if you're watching right now, thank you so much for joining us. As always here, please go ahead and share that you're watching this video. Share it after the fact. Share it every day. That'd be great and wonderful. The fine folks here at Big Blue Bug. And ladies and gentlemen, we have an amazing guest with us today uh, that will be lighting up the nibbles would away uh we have what, what is the penguin's name penguin's name is blue blue this is blue blue so there we go so we got a lot of great stuff for you tonight we got a great audience of people are you people excited it's what you want ladies and gentlemen right here in south providence on a monday night where would you rather be right here brian every year this event is just growing and it's so exciting what does it mean to you to now have a penguin turning on the giant nibbles would away this is just absolutely incredible. The fact that we could take a Connecticut staple like Mystic Aquarium and the penguins that are so meaningful. And I know to my family and all of us personally, we love going there mainly just for the penguins. And the fact that they're here, they're able to travel. It's a great thing that Mystic Aquarium is able to do. And now we're able to bring a Rhode Island staple and a Connecticut staple together to celebrate the holidays. How does it get better than that? Perfect. Can't say it better myself. Josh, you have been at Mystic Aquarium for some time now. You are you have a real fancy title. I'm just saying it the man penguin now. And of course we have which, which penguin is over there. That is our trainer Sammy with green red. All right. So we have we have two wonderful penguins here. Talk to me. These are the African penguin. These are the African penguins. So you would find them in South Africa and Namibia. They're a warm weather species of penguin. And at Mystic Aquarium, we are involved in their conservation because unfortunately they're endangered. So we send staff and everything that we learn about them by having them to South Africa, to the people, the scientists and the researchers working there. Now, folks, if you've never been to Mystic Aquarium, if you've got young kids, if you're an older person, whatever, Mystic Aquarium, there's no two visits that are going to be the same when you go there. It's a wonderful experience every time. And the penguin exhibit there, you're going to learn so much when you're there. I mean, just and some of the random things you learn. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so a lot of people are surprised to hear penguins are warm weather, um, but we're also excited to share about the different seasons that they go through. So when they come in the winter, we talk about nesting season. If they come in the spring, we talk about whether or not we had chicks hatch that year. And in the summer is when the penguins molt. So we love to talk to the guests about how these animals lose and regrow all of their feathers every summer in just a two-week time period. That is amazing. Blue Blue, you look wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. Did you get a chance to enjoy any of the snacks? What, what did you think of the spread? <laughs> Speechless, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to take a quick break right now. We're actually going to show you a video because here at Big Blue Bug Solutions, they're involved every year with Operation Rovac, remembering our vets at Christmas. It's a very special organization started by the one and only, uh, where, where's Mr. DeJesus? He's around here somewhere. Well, you'll meet him right now in the video. Let's roll that, Taylor, and then we'll be right back to you to light up the bug. One of the things that you do every year, Operation Rovac, which stands for Remembering Our Vets at Christmas, and um, it was a while ago, I was driving by the veterans home in Bristol. And thank God it's a brand new one now, it's beautiful. Yeah. But back then it was a small home and everything. And I was driving by and I had my dad in the car. And my dad was a World War II uh, veteran of the United States Navy. And my wife's dad was also an, an Army veteran. But my dad says to me, you know, if you ever have to put me in a nursing home, that's where I'd want to go. I'd want to go out there to be with my fellow vets. One day I was driving by and I just went in to take a look at it. And they gave me the, the, the 10 cent tour, took me around, explained things to me. And they had a big, huge Christmas tree in the rotunda. And I saw a few gifts under the Christmas tree. And I said to the woman, you get a lot of gifts here? And she says, well, you know, unfortunately not. You know, a lot of times people get out here, the World War II vets and Korean vets, they get forgotten out here. And um, we don't get a lot of gifts. So I asked permission to try to raise some money to get some gifts going. And I brought the idea to Steve Goldman. And Steve immediately said, well, let me give you some money to get it going. It's not hard to convince them. No, it really idea. isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> it's a generous, generous He's got family. An open, an open heart. Him and, and Brian and Scott the same way now. And I asked, and they they funded it first, getting it going. And we went out. We bought a bunch of gifts. I mentioned it on the radio show. Told some people they could bring down gifts, and some people showed up. But we had a few bags that year on the back of my trailer. We took them down there, and then the next year it got a little bit bigger, and it got a little big. And year after year, it's grown. And then we got people like Cotty's Furniture involved. Nick, Ron, and Pete were just. They've been just tremendous to the veterans out there. And now we have the Rhode Island Council Knights of Columbus involved with us. 
and um, a lot of treats. And, and now it gets to the point now we rent a U-Haul to take all the gifts down to them. That it, It's so great what you guys do every year. And, and the simple thought of remembering our veterans at Christmas. We, we'll get gifts like underwear, socks, jackets, sweaters, pajamas, just anything you think someone could use. And um, any sizes, they go from size small all the way up to 3X. Yep. So any sizes, and we want all new items. We want right. things with tags on, so we give them something new. And it and it's taken off kind of down there with, with the men and women who work there, that they bag up gifts so that at Christmas morning when they bring breakfast, the vets are all getting gifts too. That's great. So it's like the, a little extra something for them. And then we've collected so much that they keep a, a supply. So if somebody wears out, they need a sweater, they just go in and they pull out one of the new ones we have. Or if they bring in a vet that's homeless and he's, you know, literally the clothes on his back yep. as well, they can give him a whole whole outfits. Yeah. And it's it's really just something that the people out there have gotten together with us and, and thankfully for all the listeners at WPRO and all the folks at the Knights of Columbus and Cotties and everything that have helped us out. It's just been wonderful. There we go. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Tony. And again, Operation Rovac running right now. And if you've got stuff that you want to make a donation to remembering our vets at Christmas, please reach out to the fine folks here at Big Blue Bug Solutions. Of course, I wouldn't be I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention the great partnership between Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses for Toys with Tots each year. Uh, they all work together to take care of those in need over the holiday season. Now, we introduce you to the Penguins. I want to introduce you to a family here that actually got engaged at Mystic Aquarium with the Penguins, Heather, and I'm sorry, I didn't even catch her. I'm sorry, Dave. Rebecca and Dave. Heather, who's Heather? I don't even know. So Rebecca and Dave and the little one. What you got? You guys got engaged at the Penguins, and now you now you get to meet them again here. What's it like coming here with the family? It's fun to be able to share it with my daughter this time to be able to meet the Penguins because she obviously wasn't around last time seven years ago. So it's really special to be able to do that with her and with the big blue bug. That's so incredible. And and for you, what was the inspiration? Why why the penguins? You know, why, why what what was that what went into that decision? Well, Rebecca's always loved penguins. Always has. And so she always wanted to meet one. So I figured the best way to the best way to propose would be to do it with the penguins. And so I went on the uh, Mystic Aquarium website. They told me everything about it. Katie here knows all about that. She likes to ask for that story at the end of the night. But I think she's more excited to see nipples. Oh, that's that's great. Well, look, a great decision, and it's been a great time ever since. Congratulations. Are you excited to see nipples all lit up? Yes, just like the penguin, absolutely speechless. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, that we are at the mercy of one of the TV stations because we're waiting for them to give us the signal when the penguins blue, blue, and green, blue, or blue, green? Green, red. Green, red. Blue, blue. Uh, this night's brought to you by Crayola, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's, but uh, it, then as soon as we get the signal, we'll be walking up there. Um, for people who don't know, you, you're open right now, right through the holiday season. You've got great stuff going on. So if the kids are out of school, it's a great time to take a day and enjoy it, right? Absolutely. We have 4D movies. We have animatronic dinosaurs. We have the seals, the sea lions, the whales, of course, the penguins. It's always a fun time, always something new to learn, and always a great, safe environment to be in. Right. And if you're in the Rhode Island area, folks, it's just down 95. You go buy about 75 Dunkin' Donuts, but you don't need to make a overnight accommodations. You get right down there, and uh, and it's a great family experience. You recently had the uh, the overnight lights thing at one point too, which was really cool a couple of years back. Uh, what can we look forward to? Any any other big plans coming up for the uh, Mystic Aquarium? Um, gosh, I don't know. We always have so many things in the works. I'm not quite sure what's going on next. Um, but anytime you come down, it's a fun time. We have programs people can sign up for. Um, if I can look at my friend that came with me, can I talk about Festival of Lights? It yeah. sounds like we're talking about Festival of Lights, ladies. I mean, we're lighting up nibbles, so we out naturally, it should be the Festival of Lights. What is that coming up? So it's a holiday-themed event. You can get into the aquarium with a canned good donation at the gate. Uh, we do it in conjunction with the Mystic Village, and we have choral groups. We have bands playing. Santa comes. Um, there's all sorts of holiday-themed events. Of course, there's hot cocoa. There's other warm beverages, um, and people can come in and enjoy the aquarium lit up at night. 
That is so awesome, folks. You don't want to miss it. Check it out uh, at the website there, Mystic. Yep, mysticaquarium.org. Perfect. You go there, folks. And uh, and it's best. That's a pro tip. Go online first. Plan out the trip. See what you want to see and make sure everything, you get the list down there. So that's going to make the most of your experience uh, a fun time. Oh, absolutely. Well, I will let you guys get ready because they're going to walk up the red carpet, ladies and gentlemen, and they're going to touch the blue light. So we're going to step out of the way. We're going to do a countdown. Ready? Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There they go. Hit the there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the first time in Rhode Island history, Nibbles Woodaway has been lit up by two amazing African penguins. And the dance party begins, folks. This has been an awesome time. And of course, obviously, Big Blue Bug Solutions are wonderful community partners. They've been here in our community for many years, folks, and they just support so many great organizations, so many wonderful charity groups out there. The Penguins are doing a great job over there. Look great. Look at that. Fantastic. So, and, and Nibbles dancing right behind them, too. So, folks, don't forget to share and pass this video along. We'd love to have you share this as you. Uh, make your way throughout the internet tonight and thank you again as always for supporting if you want to learn more about operation rovac please go on the website and as also with the the uh toys for tots you want to make sure you want to get involved with toys for tots as always with cardi's furniture and mattresses and big blue bug solutions always an exciting time so folks that's going to do it for us tonight thank you so much for being part of this broadcast as always great to have you here and we will see you soon have a safe and happy thanksgiving have a wonderful holiday christmas season hanukkah kwanzaa everything and we will see you again soon here on the big blue bug page on the bendy castro page always a fun time thanks for watching